Hey guys, welcome on yet again to another showdown sweep. I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and today's one we got ourselves an Iron Juggler sweep. Now, people have been roasting thinking Iron Juggler is such a terrible, uh, <laughs> like it, it's such a uh, terrible paradox or uh, paradox Pokemon and whatever it calls, and it's just not many people's favorite. So, for today's one, I'm going to be showing you people how to uh, sweep with this Pokemon and see if I can actually pull up some amazing luck. Now, Look at that Iron Juggler set, it, or the, the Pokemon. It has a really good special attack with 122 on the special attack. <laughs> Pretty really good speed with 108. Reasonable HP with that, like 94 for the HP. Then the other stats is just 80 for special defense and special, uh, I'm sorry, special defense and the physical attack with 86 for the defense. So that's a solid, I mean, solid stat. But for this sweep, most people expect me to go for a special type, which I definitely wanted to go with. However, I was came up with a mine, and I was like, "Well, let's look at the special attack." I mean, it gets a huge, a huge amount of special attacking moves. So that's where the, I thought, "Well, okay, this could be an easy special attacking sweep. Make it a little more easy." So for making this challenge and make more, a, more of a enjoyable for me as well, I came up with some hilarious, and I was thinking, "Well, why not just run a physical set?" To make this more of a fun challenge and that's what exactly I do now however iron jugglers stats on the physical attack is only 80 base attack so it's pretty bad so the only way i can run with the physical set is to run something with uh with some status condition and hope that i can use some sort of stat with it and i came up with the workups uh, uh strategy using it because the only attacking move you can use is a status move and came up with some other amazing move pull with it so you're going to have to figure out what move pull I run on this entire set being a physical set. So first of all, let's talk about the physical set. So physical sets, I mean, let's look at the move pull. I mean, <laughs> it gets cool move like Acrobatics, Body Slam, Crunch, Dragon Tail, Facade, Fire Fang, Iron Head, Knock Off, Outrage, U-Turn, Zen Headbutt, and some of the usual useless moves like Take Down, Assurance, Giga Impact, Fly, and Rock Doom. So, there are not really much of experience, so I was thinking of running any of these physical moves. So the fun part, of, the fun part of this is that I actually decided to make a move pull, just like in the third line of it. So I make like one of these like lines. So if you want to take a prediction of why, I, which move I run this set, go ahead and uh, give it a try. So it could be like from outrage, you turn send that bar to acrobat. Yeah, you know you can guess this. So yeah. So this sweep was a really difficult choice, and I had to rely on try to use a physical set, and. That's exactly what happened. So uh, pretty much, I went st just straight at the bat. There won't be much to talk about. There's just went. I just went straight up with the strategy, and that's where the sweep is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure. So hope you guys and girls are gonna enjoy the iron jugg uh, the iron jugglers uh, sweep. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys and girls enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys and girls at the end of the battle. Enjoy.
<laughs> kind of expected that last part. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Iron Dragon. <laughs> kind of funny because I was actually was gonna say there was a hidden message on this uh, sweep. Kind of forgot to tell you, but you know what? Doesn't matter. It, it just happened. So, by but, but actually, it's kind of a strange because I was mistakenly accidentally named it just Iron, <laughs> but it was funny enough to put in something else at the end. So yeah. So let's explain the physical uh, in jungle sweep or uh, the set. Now let me show you our ex example how I was able to go through the sweep and how why I was able to get the boost energy for its physical attack. So now you're probably wondering, okay, what does a booster energy does? So let me explain if in case anyone doesn't know. So the highest stats it gets will increase its uh, basically boost the attacks or not boost the exact highest stats it gets. So let's say um, let's say like this. If I'm up to let, let look at the base set right now. So with, with max attack on the set, uh, with Adam and Nature, I'm up to 284 on the uh, physical attack, but my speed uh, uh, is 100, 270. So if I wouldn't run Adam and Nature, and let's say if I run like, I don't know, like something else, like uh, let's say, uh, let's go with like Lonely, for example, or let's go with Jolly, for example. So let's go with that. So let's say that. So that means if it's a high, the highest stat, like, let's say, Okay, look at this. So we have 297 on the speed and 259 on the attack. That means the highest stats gets the boost of its stats. So basically, getting like a like a plus uh like a plus one on the uh, on the highest stat it gets. So that's why I was thinking, well, the highest stats it needs to get a uh, physical because you know I need to run something you know uh, I need to get the highest stat on the physical stats because you know it's not the greatest. And I would definitely run a special set if I wouldn't run more competitive one. But I thought, well, it would be more uh, more fun and more of a challenge to run this set. So I decided to run the physical set. And yes, people know it well. I could have definitely 100% uh, swept them a lot more better if I run the speedy set. But that would be just uh, kind of complainingly boring. And, you know, I want to just show people that I can, a physical set can still sweep it. And I want to just uh, show you people that <laughs> that the physical set is a lot more better than the special set. You can definitely tell. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, so we have also Quirk Drive for uh, increasing our booster speed, uh, or uh, actually, well, Electric Train or uh, Active, uh, the boost or the boost energy, the highest stats get. So it's actually kind of similar to a uh, boost uh, booster energy, but it's um, but uh, Quirk Drive, um, it's kind of just there for an ability. If I have Electric Train, so unfortunately for this battle is that. I mean, it's not fortunate, but like the weirdest thing is that when I was facing the Moridan, yes, people, the Moridan have the um, the Hardon engine or not, or the uh, the little electric terrain thing. So that means it would have actually uh, activate my uh, quirk drive and boost my uh, speed if I wouldn't run a more physical attacking set, and that's why my was running more. I mean, I, if I would have run more attacking one, that means. I would have hit a lot better, and you just saw that muck at the end, or the uh, next between the battle when I used poison gas. It was able to uh, outlive that one because I was running, obviously more of a you know a physical attacking one. If I were on the speedy one, I'm pretty sure none of the Pokemon would have probably guaranteed to get KO'd. I mean, <laughs> the Morita would have definitely would have one shot me probably with something random, and I would have had no choice but to. Uh, I mean, I have no choice but to tear myself so I can defend my resistance against that thing. And, uh, yeah, I was really lucky. And also in the battle, can you believe I was living that 1 HP on that uh, <laughs> that Domfen or the Iron Juggles? I was really lucky to uh, outlive that uh, that Steel Beam. Which, surprisingly, I mean, a special Steel Beam? That's content for me to, to read, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was able to live that one on 1 HP, tear myself into a Dragon type, and uh, one-shot the Muck. That disrespectfully totally didn't need to. Uh, I totally needed that Terra uh, poison in order to do it. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah. So the only way to sweep this set is to run this type of set. So I run max attack on the uh, on the set with Adam and Nature. Like I said, I decided to run more of a healthy one in case you know if the opponent does have outspeed me and try to attack with whatever the physical or the special uh, defensive. Um, build, you know, if someone would try to attack me outside, but well, well, might as well run HP, it's the highest stat to get anyway, so 184 for the HP and 92 for speed, so now the only problem with the set is that, well it's alright fast but it's not exactly hugely, like it's not extremely fast, so <laughs> 
it's it can be outspeed by most of the paradox and most starter Pokemon. Most of them, like um, like uh, I mean, I mean, we saw that the um, right now. Obviously, that definitely would have uh, outsped me if I didn't have the sticky web on the field, and um, if I obviously didn't have the. Uh, you know, if I didn't have that one, because I, I mean, this thing it would have probably outsped. Like, let's look at the, some of the comparison of by Speedy Pokemon. Like, let's look at it. So, <laughs> we have comparison 270. Let's look at the speed. So, um, we had, like I said, the Moridon. So that thing had 306, and with the compare uh, compared of the speeds that I would have guaranteed assumed that they would have had a max speed on the set. I mean, maybe if uh, they run a little more lower than that, I think it would have actually, I think it would be more of a healthy one. Like, I mean, if there was timid nature, I don't think I would have outsped that one or something. I don't know, compares the speeds that I'm not a, exactly a calculator person, so I assume if I didn't have sticky web, I would definitely get outsped. Now, the terrain set, uh, a pimp Kirchen you saw, it was actually going to be the one who's going to be using the electric uh, terrain. But for well, not like train, I like to search. Sorry, and it was gonna be there for using the terrain extender and potentially um, give me the extra boost of speed on the terrain. Thought I can activate it, but uh, instead of it, I just uh, simply just uh, tried to you know use the momentum strategy and stuff. But uh, yeah, it didn't work out, so I had to do a little bit of a couple swaps. And um, I was lucky enough to at least get a memento on the uh, iron trend. And uh, obviously, you saw the. Uh, I'm pretty sure you saw the uh, Driftlim setting up a couple, a couple, uh, I believe, like calm mines and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. And uh, <laughs> if it Tom Puss is Iron Trend, I mean, that probably is the reason why it was able to, um, you know, use, uh, um, you know, that's probably why it was using a uh, Steel Beam, because it wouldn't be a Baton Pussing Steel Beam set. And I was able to actually, I mean, I'm not sure if I would have probably lived that one if it did use Steel Beam. Um, but in case, I mean, they would have probably assumed I had another move to counter it. But, uh, I didn't really have much of a counter against the Iron Trend. So, they actually took itself down on the process. So, uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny. And, obviously, that was, uh, it was a really lucky one, actually. And now, I'm not saying the sweep was guaranteed by 100% legit. Or, I was pretty legit, legit, but it just, it was just pure luck because of that one HP live. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So hope you guys and girls enjoyed the Iron Jungle uh, sweep. Now speaking of Iron Trend, I might put up a Iron Trend sweep that probably is gonna be uploaded after this Iron Jungle uh, sweep done. So make sure to watch the, this one and watch my other highlights. I mean, I'd really appreciate if you guys and girls can watch my highlights. It'll be really appreciated. And you know, it's not just like every day you can see my head sweeps like freely. I do attempt to uh, make some of these random sets. For just attempted luck or sometimes I feel like when I make these sets sometimes I don't but yeah that's pretty much it and yeah see you guys and girls then and stay lucky out there